Harmony going. That was all jingle. very gentle, that one. We were in the wrong key. It's the child. The last one. Hello. I'm Henry Shields. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm Ruth the Lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Ruth the Lemonade. Horses. These medical reports, they're riveting. Diagrams. Does it very well? Matthew Bourne, step aside. <laughs> Come on, I'll do your swaying leg. Swaying leg. Matthew Bonus. And the director's like, cut, cut. Well, we obviously can't use that. But then that's when the idea came to use Trevor to do it. People ask us, you know, does anything ever go wrong? Yeah, when you've got a cat. And then you just hear from within a snowy bag. Cabbage! 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 And he was like, stuck. I like the bit with the buttons. <laughs> Turkey on a tree. Turkey on a tree. Turkey on a tree. What you gonna do? There's a turkey on a tree. Well, it's Ready, just it's been messed ruined. up. Yeah. Just if one I won that, can you fall over on cue? Yes. <laughs> like somebody built this. Somebody built this tiny, like, chambers. And there we go. <laughs> so it sort of births him. <laughs> oh God. It's just so horrendous. It's just like a bit glittery. <laughs> But to get the timing of it was absolutely killer. But we did this live as well. Amy Lewis, that close to you, screaming, is, is quite an experience. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the dog uh, is a real feat of engineering. <laughs> here, here comes my actual corpse on screen that, that I can't deny. I don't trust you! It's there! <laughs> Hell with the chest. And you yeah. can just see me go... <laughs> Had to be attached to the desk. <laughs> I'm just gone! I'm just laughing! I was so unprofessional! A lot of this pretending to cry is just making me feel like... massive hands just tearing a tiny bit of paper. <laughs> I did that little uh, wave that my dad does. Mm. This creepy little finger wave. Working on the choreography for that dance. <laughs> and so it begins. The laughing section. We'll see you in 10. Mm. It's, it's scientific, isn't it? The science says if you hear someone laughing after a while, you just, you just start laughing, start laughing. yourself. That's all, that's all Henry Lewis not knowing what to do. <laughs> <laughs> I actually didn't get how the set worked until we did this scene. There's a cat. Hello, cat. Otherwise, you'd have loads of time when you turn things around. Oh. Sorry. Um, oh. We have a friend. She's back. <laughs> Gone. Oh no, just come in here. No. No, have a little. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> I always wonder with this bit, you know, had it gone right, did the Carly Polytechnic ever think it was going to be good? The king. <laughs> the king is a funny line. Oh, she hates being picked up, so. Oh, there's a cat there. Do, 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 but then it can't be like super old fashioned. We've got some period pieces. Oh, she's back. You have to imagine it. They were thinking it wouldn't go wrong. Mm. Oh, sorry. It was a fun episode to do with you, darling. Oh, and she's gone. So, so go. game over. I think this is my absolute favourite costume of all time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I loved the whole ensemble. This is, uh, I think, my favourite scene in the whole 
of the series. It's really? This, yeah, this split screen scene really makes me laugh. I love this cardigan. It is Santa, but but as a cowboy. Yes, on the back. Yeah, yeah, little cowboy hat. Little cowboy hat, and he's got cowboy boots. And it's I love it. I think it's my favourite cardigan of all time. I love the beginning of this scene when you two are like poised, ready to sort of start. I also love that this this whole sequence starts with Henry Lewis' classic dance move. The big kick. The big kicks. You see those on the, on the dance floor. Oh, I love the wigs in this episode! Why have we got the Beatles in? <laughs> I also really love this because the three of us are like Oh no, oh, oh Bri, oh Vanessa, you killed Annie, oh no, that wasn't meant yeah. to happen. <laughs> Having to stab her. And the ghost looks feel, feels bad about it. And then Max ending up in his pants. Doesn't he doesn't really, mind. Doesn't mind, it's more it's more humiliating for Chris. Mm. Also Chris will have cast himself as a good magical part, wouldn't he? Mm. I was originally down to play Hitler as Max, um, and then it changed. Like a smiley Hitler. Smiley, happy Hitler. I feel like that's an achievement for my career, saying Heil Hitler and looking into a camera. That'll stay with me, I imagine, on the internet forever. Let's get to work. Cloud yeah. business. I enjoyed the clouds. clouds Sexy cloud for Sandra. Sexy cloud. She takes it seriously. So the whole, uh, you know, slaves in the garden anyway, you're already in the chimney, none of this play makes sense, is just because we realised <laughs> that the play doesn't make sense and uh, okay. we didn't have enough time to rewrite the goes right story so they just wrote in that Robert says it doesn't make any sense <laughs> and then we move on they do do a lot of bad plays to Cornley mm, they don't pick well there is a truth gag in this episode oh um, a truth gag yeah and so it was a teeny tiny stem bars mm. um that was very funny. So another truth gag. Yeah. That goes wrong. Show. How does the tie stay on, and then fall off, and then go back on? Magnet. No oh, the cat. Cat. This was so silly. And the rehearsals for this were so silly. Occasionally, I think it means that we don't ever get caught just looking gormless. Yeah, we had to ADR the word kitchen. Um, because of that, you did because, it again. <laughs> because I say kitchen. Kitchen. And um, the director kitchen. Martin was just kitchen. saying kitchen. kitchen. Because we'd recorded me doing this, um, <laughs> it, it made no sense from, uh, if I just said kitchen. It looked weird, so I had, they had to put in kitchen. It's weird. But it is less bad than yeah. the one you did. Also, because I went up at the end, I went, uh, should we take a look in the kitchen? And <laughs> it was very weird. Weird choice on the night. <laughs> Goes bang, uh, rolls out of the way, then I fall. Yeah, like bang, roll, uh, bang, roll. Uh. It's just bizarre. Oh. Be like, is everyone okay? And then later we lead to the to the big sort of denouement of the stern. Because people are strangely more precise, and they got more from it than I'm sh than I'm sure most people could mm -hmm. could squeeze out of that idea lemon. Greg Tannehill at his best, ladies and gentlemen. So, and how much does he look like Jude Law here? Oh yeah, in Anna Karenina. Yeah, it's so weird. Another excellent performance from Greg Tannehill. Yeah, again, comes in right at the end, doesn't have much to do, but absolutely nails it. It's got to be said that once again, Greg Tannehill takes a massive hit for this episode. Um, but the fact that he's not in it does not equate to the amount of comedy he brings mm. to the episode. He, he makes it very funny. He was in that chimney. He was. Full makeup. In the chimney. <laughs> uh, yes, again, it must be said that <laughs> Greg Tannehill is an absolute hero and does such a great job of just coming in at the end. Greg is the master of having a very small task, but doing it extremely well. Greg Tannehill again. Is that his real moustache? I don't believe it is. Because Greg can grow a pretty excellent beard. This is a really good episode for Chris Leesk. Mm. I think he does very good trying to take the doll acting. He goes, no arse though for Chris in this one. No bottom. But then I got to do the fun bit with the pulling down. Oh, pointing at Hitler's. There's nipple. There's Todger. And that is comedy. It was so fun coming up with that journey. 
<laughs> and looking at the actual map and then working out that his penis could be the heart of France. I think one of Mistress' best creations to date is Nancy as Wickham. Nancy's just screaming, gosh. Smacking my ass so hard, so hard. In character. Trial down gag, always funny. If one trial down is funny, two trial downs are funny, three trial downs, very funny. Always funny. Sex coin, I really, I thought we weren't gonna get that one. No, we Passed got it. it. Got it in. Strategically placed whiskey bottle. But there was that an accident. It was in rehearsal, and then we kept it in for the actual show. I think we told the BBC it was an accident. So it was an accident. It was an accident. We did not put a cheap not gag in our family show. I suggested sex life and I thought I was going to be laughed out of the room but they put it in and I'm very pleased with it. Mm. Well because John was kind of leading this episode we got more of a kind of 50-50 gags in because John likes them. Mm, yeah the Ooh, will it won't it and I was I was pleased with the support. Because the jacked off gag I absolutely love but uh, we were like the BBC would never go for it. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> but they did, they went for it. But they wouldn't let us say, like, knob at one point. Come on, Beeb, let us say knob. Knob, knob, knob. Knob. Knob, 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 I'm not above that kind of joke. Nobody is. No. And if you are, you're wrong. Recognise that voiceover? It's this guy. BBC Radio 4, I am available. The Arches. Because they are so expensive. <laughs> Exploding Cracker, very good, yeah. You do with that very well. It scared me when you used to practice it. There are marks on the trees so that we could put the sausages in exactly the same places because some of the final scene is pre-recorded. Oh wow! Um, I didn't know that. It was tough. Oh look at you doing acting. Doing some acting there. Let's fill in my beard with some mascara. Not anymore darling. No. Look at that. Full. In order to catch it, I had to catch it gently without it shattering in my hands. <laughs> I think you did really well. I'm very impressed with this Thanks. physical comedy business sequence. And I've still got the turtleneck it's upstairs. Yeah, I think it really suits you. In fact, I might go and put it on. TV magic! Nance was petrifying in this. Nance pe was petrifying. Bryony was incredible. You were all right. Hmm. That was really tough. Good at that, I don't think I did it very well, but I did it well enough for them to use it, so. I like how they licked you as the ghost. I know, it's, it's very, amazing. It's very effective, isn't it? I think they added, they must have added something on in post. I don't think it was glowing that well. Some fancy stuff. Mm. Fancy post business. Yeah, there, was, there was no signal, they were just like, bang. I've got to say, I re one of my favourite things in this episode is that move that you do with your body. Like, when your leg gets stuck and then you like do a weird, like, Meerkat trying to get out of it. I think it's really funny. Um, they just moved the set too early. And, I think uh, he was moving too late. Or possibly too late, yeah. Oh, look! Here comes Charlie Russell. And you! Still got lovely hair though, for a corpse. Lovely hair for both of mm. us. Um, it has to be said that a lot of my stuff on the night was, was cut. <laughs> uh, because, probably because it wasn't great, but all. Need to save time. Do you no, it's sausages and. Oh, yeah, exactly right place. And of course, Beautiful voiceover. Oh, yes. Do, 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 do. Rory type of. Yeah. <laughs> Every time they change him. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, it's, it's still going. Enough. It's going. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Watch along. There, but there was there was no time. <laughs> I, set, I set it up. Watch along, and then uh, insert insert gag there. Um, I'll take the answers on a postcard, <laughs> or or just like Twitter. Really, I don't. I'm, don't. No. I'm not going to give out my address. No, please don't. No. Um,
but uh yeah thanks for watching and as usual thanks to like all of the backstage people and mm. costume and design and all of our like marketing team makeup and then yeah marketing production mm. press everyone all the business yeah thanks guys watch along no, that's true. <laughs> 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 from Charles and Dave.